guys, my name is Kamla Simon Peter and we're talking about Max script. Now in the previous video, we managed to create a rollout dialogue. Now at this moment, we're digging deeper. All right, so the rollout dialogue looks like this. Okay, so um, we had also a right click button, which I've deleted for a moment. And then we're going to use the checkout button now. These, these buttons are so essential. We really need them, especially for our project. All right, so. I want to go um, back to our controllers. Okay. So. I'll bring in our Mac script user interface control dialogues from the help and then we see what we can do from here all right so we're going to look at the check button okay so I've just clicked on it so and this is the syntax so the first syntax is the um, the syntax tells us that the key uh, the keyword is check button and then the name followed by other captions now remember some of these captions are optional for example this is the name that you want uh, the button to display the color okay the highlight color of the button when someone hovers uh, over the button for example so uh, remember we must have the flow so that's why the buttons are going to be up here but the position of the buttons can be determined by you as we shall see in our upcoming video so the syntax says that we must have a check button okay and then we must give it a name ah, let me call it ckbtn all right so if i save and then run so we have a check button but it has nothing in it Alright, so I'm going to give it a brief text which says maybe choose choose object. Alright, so control S, control E, so we have that. Now uh, we also have the highlight color among our options. Let's see. Here it is highlight color. Remember we have it in RGB, which is the rule. Um, but I'll just okay highlight highlight color okay which is going to be rgb and let's see um, but let me just give it maybe blue All right so if i save and run again okay you see so that is the highlight color okay let me choose red Okay, control S, control E. Oh. Okay, so I have uh, issues with my. I, uh, that's. Alright, sorry, I had to uh, pause the video to change the hotkey for drawing on screen. So, on C, K, B, T, and changed. Uh, change to what? Change to true. Remember, this is a Boolean. What do you want to have? You want to do what do you want to do? The following. All right. So, uh, take for example. Uh, so let me just save that, and then we go back to our um, uh, documentation. Then we check. We're going to check for something. For example, we're going to check for select, sell or selection, and then maybe I'm going to check for selection sets. Oh, let's see. So selection sets they are telling us um, the selection set array has only one instance selection sets which is the array of named selections all right so um, what do we want to do we want to select objects okay so here are different items for select selection sets uh, but we, you can select items and you give them objects for example we're going to say that if that is done what are we going to do we're going to select select objects so all objects remember we have the objects class okay so let me save and then so right now uh, 
when I click on it, nothing happens because you know it's not meant to do anything. But if um, I do run it again, now look at what I have, and then I choose object, it has selected everything in the same. Okay, now um, I want to disable after it's selecting, I want to disable the value to false. All right, so let's try that. We can say, um, but before that, let's do this. Um, let us say, for example, uh, let us have a selection filter. Mm, we're going to select, oh, let me, let, let's see here. Let's look for selection filter. Hope you're trying to see, uh, this is the one for an object set. So we selected the objects. And then we can also choose what position the objects are. We shall see. We're going to create one one script where objects uh, come closer to another object based on the distance. And if it moves away, you know the distance changes. Now let's see selection filter. Okay, so the selection filter uh, will will give us well, selection filter list. Uh, let's 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 you restrict the specific types and combinations of objects that can be selected all right so and they are telling you that it expects an integer all right so one they're saying get select filter returns the index of the current selection filter and then we have set select filter to a certain value all right so we're going to start with set select filter and I hope that you're understanding that now the documentation has different things that you must look out for. For example, you know what to do, but you don't know the right keyword or functional class that you're supposed to be calling. So we're going to use set select filter now. Notice this one is in camel, sect, camel casing or the British wolf of capitalization, capital, capital letters but we don't use i'm not i'm not using that because um max script is not uh, what do they call it case case sentence sensitive as such all right so they are telling us that when we set the current select filter to by index for example they're saying that set filter to five will set the selection to cameras all right so if they say set filter to five meaning um uh, let me do this now i'm going to say set filter filter set select filter sorry set select filter zero i guess that will also check everything so let me make sure i'm not checking anything and then run the script control e and then click okay nothing is selected so I must have let me check if I missed anything set select filter all right so set select filter to five this will select all right so set fillet select filter so this will mean and uh, that I can select anything and be picked on okay now zero uh, uh, lights are being selected but the boxes are not being selected so let me first set a value here and we check so zero let me do this okay set select filter maybe two three okay one means what let's do one and then save okay let's evaluate set select filter to that choose Okay, so lights again, lights, and then, okay, so with one, you can select anything, okay? Now, let me set select filter two to two, okay? Click elsewhere, and then save, and then run again, okay? So, with the two, you see, I'm not, I, can, I can't select lights. I can uh, I can select geometry objects all right so uh, let me again try again so which means 
um, two. With one, you select any of these. Two, you're selecting um, geometry. Now three, we shall be able to select only parts but not lights. So let me change that to that and then save and then run. So if I choose, you see, I can click on any of these, but they are not selected, but I can select the path. Okay, this flying here. And then, which means with the lights, it is for five for cameras, as the documentation is telling us here. Now there is, um, so it is saying that you set, select filter to that index number. Now there is one, that says get number of filters it will turn them in a drop down for you but we're not yet there so let's first go with what we have and then um four will be for lights so let me just try out that all right so ctrl e and then choose object all right so you can see i can click on any of these and don't select any but when I click on a light it will be selected all right so that's one which is different from this because this it won't enable you to to come into the scene okay uh, it has no value now um, apart from that let me do this now let's give this a variable that the variable is FLT is equal to set selection filter all right now after setting the selection filter let us say that the value let us say that uh, selected slt d to mean selected is equal to dollar okay dollar dot name now dollar dot name is the same as whatever is selected dot its name for example, let me change the box. Um, okay, the selection filter is still to at four. Um, okay. So let me change the selection filter to two. Um, okay, and run control E. So dollar dot name. Oh. So I have, I have nothing selected. That's why it was giving me. That warning so dollar dot name I want to change the name of this box here and give it my name come here Simon all right so before it was warning me because simply uh, I had nothing selected sitting in that class so that's the purpose of if and else statements we shall come to that all right so I want now to select the box which will be in our selection filter which will be number two uh, yeah number two because one is for all and then i want to set the button the text of this button to this name therefore i'm going to choose ckbtn all right dot text text okay is equal to s selected sltd remember sltd is a variable for the name of the box all right so let's run again choose object okay it's warning me about the name function and the property um, because simply i have nothing selected so let me say okay oh, all right all right okay so i must first place a value here which is going to be um now the selected item after selecting in a filter i must equate whatever is selected to that uh, that's why it was warning me about this okay so let me do this let me do this let me choose d is equal to um two dollar right 
D is equal to dollar, and then I get this and put that. Let me hope it won't run again, because what it what is happening whenever I press, it is evaluating all this and then giving me this name. But we can we shall we can eliminate that by functions. Let's try our best. So, or else we shall have the box to be selected all the time. Okay. All right. So it's still warning us about the name. Um. Let me just have the box selected. Okay. So let me do this because I. Uh, I, I don't want to use this lesson trying to figure out all that so e and then if I choose so you can see the box since now it's selected you can see the box has that name uh, otherwise it was evaluating the name uh, before everything is is done so that's why it was giving me an error yet it was supposed to first choose now I can do that so that the solution for that in a function but we're not yet there we shall come to that all right, so um, nothing, maybe one other thing I haven't talked about. Uh, we can also use um, rem, um, this button to create a box. So let me see. You can say, let's say box that without the height or, or, or anything. So let me push this here. The box should be created in the center. And then remember the first button and let me evaluate and then press hello so you can see it has created a box for us and lastly remember if we choose an object from the scene um, the check button remains checked okay so just like this you know it remains checked so I have to come back and uncheck it something that is not great Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to create um, <coughs> a status where the check button is off. And if you go to the uh, gets off, the moment you've checked uh, or the moment you, you've identified the object or you click another button. And um, remember that uh, in our documentation, all that is given, for example, um, if I bring back our documentation, uh, the status for the check button okay it has a property of the status where it is uh, the status is the state sorry uh, where the state is either checked off all on all true or false so it's a boolean value all right so uh, the first thing i'm going to do uh, for example let me do it here the moment someone presses the um, XYZ button, the hello button. Uh, I want it to uncheck the check button. All right, so let me, uh, it's called ckbtn dot state. So the state in which it is, let it, uh, let it be equal to, I'll uh, verify it uh, false. Uh, false. All right, so let me do that and I've saved and then control E. All right, so if I check this button and press this button, you see this one uh, uh, does whatever it's supposed to have done because it was already changed status to true, but then it goes off. So I can also do the same here, but this time around I'm going to do off. So the moment it has checked, uh, it gets off as the last, last thing. Uh, before it sets the name, uh, I'm sorry. After it sets the name, so I'm going to do ckbtn again dot state dot state is equal to instead of false. Let me do off. All right. So let me save and again evaluate. So this time around, if I choose, okay. Okay, so it's still complaining about the name uh, because nothing was selected. So let me run again. So this time around, if I choose, you see it it, it, it doesn't remain checked like it was before, uh, which means I can even come to this and I say the moment I press that, it should check the other. 
uh, it should uh, check the other but it won't uh, okay it, it will check the other to make the status true so let me do this okay or you can type on and then I evaluate again control E so if I press the hello button you see it's going to check the other you see it has already checked it and if I press it again nothing again is happening because it has already checked it so if I uncheck it has checked this so thank you for watching this video do not forget to subscribe like and inform others about the quality of whatever we're doing thank you so much